I've never bought a nice bourbon, I feel like. Is that bad? I no. apologize. I buy nice rye and I buy shitty bourbon. As I you love can see rye. by my although my rye's not that nice right now, but is what te- is is is, why? is rye technically rye? not bourbon? Rye? No, rye's different. Interesting, because I do love I did think not know think that. Of it like cornbread just... cornbread and rye bread. Okay. Rye's a little more bitter, cornbread's a little more sweeter. Cornbread is is the bourbon. So can you but is it oh oh that's right, it's rye whiskey. Rye whiskey, yes. Right, right, right. It's a different type of whiskey. Interesting, interesting. I do love bullet bullet rye. Bullet rye is great. You Mm -hmm. say rye funny. I um, well, there are certain words that just it's like (laughs) it's like sacrilegious to say like pie. I'm not gonna say pie. I'm always gonna say pie because it feels weird, like wrong. Uh, My grandparents live in Tennessee. Oh, really? Where in Tennessee? Clarksville. 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 <laughs> Clarksville. My cousins are from, uh, whoa, my cousins. My cousins. My cousins are from uh, Shelbyville, Tennessee. And okay. guess how you say it. <clears throat> Shelby. Shibble. Shibble. <laughs> Shibble. It makes me cry. That's a la- cry. <laughs> <laughs> Your lies are the fun thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hey. mean, I try to lock them up, but. I, lo- I love it. I like I'm when it sneaks out. You got to do it. Sometimes I'm from Minnesota, so sometimes I'll drop an, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Don't you yeah. know? I love that. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah. A little puck, eh? Oh, yeah. Down yeah. The lake. The lake. <laughs> the lake. 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 Did you have an accent before you moved? Oh, yeah. I mean, really yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I do. It, I, it, it's interesting. It's an interesting evolution. Um, I'm glad you asked. I, I went to school at Ole Miss. Um, ironically went to Ole Miss for the theater department to get rid of my dialect, oh, which funny. is hysterical because it's in the There's deep worse. South. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's just a different Southern dialect. You yeah. know, it's, it's sweeter. It's slower. It's the vowels are more elongated. Um, Kentucky, you just kind of attack the words, Sure. you know, sure. harder R and, um, more aggressive, if you will. Um, and then, uh, the Southern dialect is, you know, it's sweeter. Like the, the T gets sweeter, the further South you go. Right. That's how it's good. That's how I always tell a lot of people inter- that are trying to understand the different dialects, regional Southern dialects. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah. Um, so when you got here, it was pretty bad. It. No, I got rid of it in school. At, at school. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I feel like when I, I never had one. And when I got here, people were like, where's your accent? I was like, I, uh, I don't think I've ever having one. Interesting. I don't recall ever sounding any different than I do now. Yeah. I mean, I hear when you say it, I hear like a touch, like, I mean, just a touch. of. Oh, the, you do, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, my my parents have a really uh, close friend named Claire who um, she's from, uh, uh, I, I believe she's from Minnesota. Oh. And she's got such a, a thick dialect and yeah, I, I love it so much. But definitely people in my family have it, but I it's so weird. I don't think I've ever had it. Yeah, maybe that's just the city in me. I don't know. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so urban. Uh, <laughs> Wait, tell me what what city? What city? No, we're from, we're from. I grew up in Brainerd, which is like the where the movie Fargo takes place. Oh, like it's, it's thick in there. Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's wow. her name? Francis or whatever. Francis McDormand. Yeah, her character, the sheriff, is is a Brainerd sheriff. Oh, the sheriff. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. No, so there's something about there. that dialect where they all just sound like they're about to burst. <laughs> they're just so excited they can't even contain themselves. They're just, oh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's a You're beautiful day. <laughs> how do you, how do you, do you work on accents? No, I just find I, the ones that I really like, <laughs> I just, I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, the ones that I really like, I just, I honestly, I'm not really good at, at dialects or accents. I just feel like, um, I love doing funny versions of them. Yeah. Do you know, or extreme. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like my publicist is Australian and I, my Australian dialect is so bad and she thinks that I'm trying like, right. and I, I can't really, I don't know how to like lay it out for her and say, Becca, like I, I'm teasing. I'm not trying to be, I'm like, Oh mate. They, Crikey. You're like, and she's like, Haley, it's really, it's really bad. And I'm like, I, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a bit that I'm doing. That's not effective. Have you ever done a role where you had to do a crazy accent? Uh, that's a good question. Because that's something I fear. Like when I go to acting class and he and my teacher wants me to do, even do a Boston, I'm like, no, I can't. Oh my god, I love it so much. Um, so I, you I, like you're into that if you got that opportunity. Oh, oh hell yeah. We're very different. Yeah, no, I love um, I love working on the English dialect. I feel like 
just like, but the old school English dialect, the RP, because it's, I mean, totally it's not, the RP. It's not that it's a received pronunciation. I don't even know what that means. What? It's, like, it's basically, it's just the <laughs> old school, it's the old school English dialect, okay. like before it was, I, I don't, it's kind of the one that was taught the proper. Sure. So, uh, sounds like rubbish. Rubbish. Yeah. Yes. They say rubbish a lot. I don't know if that's true. Um, <clears throat> But, but but that's cleaner and easier, I think, to do than like say now if you did like, if you were trying to do a contemporary English dialect and you're not English, you're, sure. you're kind of screwed. Have you have you had booked a role where you had a thick accent? Have you had to sit down um, and like work on one? Uh, I wouldn't yeah, even know how to do that. De- definitely definitely auditioned and was strongly considered for something recently, which was a total bummer because I was so excited about it. Um, did you get a coach then, or did you just sit there watching YouTube videos or something? I didn't. I just listened to myself a lot. And I and they say that the Southern dialect, like people who have that in their mouths, um, that it's easier actually to do um, British RP because of um, I forget why it is, but it's something to do with the vowels and something to do with the inflections because a lot of the Southern inflections are based on. Um, old uh, uh, English inflections. Huh. Yeah. Wait, mm-hmm. does this have to do with musical? Like, I'm not. I, I'm. To- I think I'm tone deaf. In all honesty, <laughs> and I wonder if that relates at all. You've got a great. You've got great tone. <laughs> so I was terrible. Is it really bad? <laughs> yeah. I. I. I I'm, I'm just curious now if it's related because I cannot sing. I can't tell you what a note is. Right. And I. Probably couldn't even tell you what an accent was. <laughs> right. No, you, I mean, you do, you, you did, you were doing a dialect so thick earlier and you said you didn't normally have one. But when you do, well, that's, I, I could do that for certain words. I just know the certain words like, right. oh yeah, puck, oh, yeah. lake. Punk? Puck, play some puck down at the lake. Oh, I thought you were saying punk. Like. Puck. Drop the puck, eh? Oh, puck. Oh. Play some puck. <laughs> oh, hockey's called puck. It I can d- be a eh? just yeah. What wow! But I love that. But it is cool. interesting though too, because when like people with accents sing, they don't have an accent, so maybe it's not related. Like that's a good you, point. When Adele sings, she doesn't sound British. Oh, she sounds. She just sounds like an angel, like a, but that's different. Like an angel, <laughs> like a lordy lordy. I don't know though, because I'm like really curious. Like, what happens when the, my big breakthrough? I have to have an accent, and then I shit my pants, and I can't do it. I mean, so many people do have dialect coaches, too. Like, I, I had still, one I'm on not sure speed I dial. Co- I'm not sure I could be coached. I'm not sure, oh, you're not sure you have the ear. I don't I don't think I have the ear. You should test it out and just see what you're in for, for the future. <laughs> you know, get ready. It's called, you know, your preparation. Like, and be like, listen, I need to know my strengths and my weaknesses now so I can really highlight I like to think that, it, that is me knowing that, though, because I have straight white male confidence in pretty much everything <laughs> I do. <laughs> Except for accents clearly, and singing. Clearly, I can see it in your eyes. You've got the, <laughs> you've got fire in your belly. Oh, now I kind of want to just try to put something up where I have an accent, see if I could hold it. Because even see. for like, even like the, it's all about placement too. Of how you're where where the word is. Sh- sure. Right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, think about where, just in general, the the where you're speaking now. It's kind of in the 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 sound is coming from the center of your mouth. Right. Sure. And if I mean, I I have to work on my English dialect. If I, you know, I feel like I'm really putting my neck out here. Um, but the placement for an English dialect is towards the front of your mouth. Towards the front of your mouth. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yes. wow! <laughs> I was able to do that kind of. Yeah, it's it's kind of fun to play with placement and. Actually, I should just get a know? dialogue coach and see what I can do for. And you a know the hours. Fargo stuff. Everything's in the back. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. See what I mean? Kind of. You should coach. <laughs> no, I had a really great um, voice and speech coach in college. Um, like, so good. He went to UC Irvine. Oh. Um, interestingly enough, he, uh, and, and was teaching at Ole Miss. Um, interestingly enough, he, his, um, uh, his, yeah, stepbrother is Dave Chappelle. Oh, fun fact. Interesting, right? It's random. It's so random. Yeah. So random.